Hello everyone. Welcome to lecture seven. Uh, in today's class, we will be discussing about uh, string. Uh, so in this uh, in this class, we will discuss how to declare uh, uh, string in Python uh, as we are dealing with Python in this course. Uh, so uh, after that, uh, there are some operations that uh, that can be uh, that can be done on string uh, and uh, how uh, they work. So we will uh, discuss in today's class. So let's move on to the class. Now come to uh, the point, what is a string? A string is a uh, immutable data type in Python, which uh, cannot be changed once declared in program. Uh, the word immutable means uh, which is fixed. So uh, when you fixed a value uh, for, a specific, for a string, uh, it cannot be changed, uh, but it can be updated in the later, later in other uh, uh, doing a, a, any other assignment, but uh, it is, when you assign a value for a string, it is fixed for that string, for that uh, variable. So, <clears throat> how we can declare a string? We uh, generally we use single uh, quotation or double quotation for to declare string. Uh, most of the time, we uh, use a single quotation uh, to declare the string. Uh, but sometimes uh, we use a triple quotation in specific in some specific place. Uh, there is no. Uh, Character uh, character variable uh, in, uh, for Python in, uh, in in Python language, but uh, we have seen uh, character variables in uh, our previous uh, uh, completed languages. That means C, C sharp. Uh, but in case of Python, there is no character variable. Uh, rather than that, uh, we have string uh, string with one length. Uh, when a character variable uh, is um, uh, can be character variable can be called a, a, a length of one character, but in replacing that in Python, it is a single character a string with length one. <clears throat> so let's come to uh, uh, the point where uh, how a declare uh, how can how a string can be declared in Python. So um, uh, um, I I uh, I can remember that in the first lecture uh, you have already uh, see, you have already seen that how to declare a string uh, and some operations also. So um, I recall that memory. So here uh, 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 force variable hold a string which is object oriented programming and uh, uh, the object oriented programming value value is stored inside a quotation. Uh, two, uh, two quotation. This is the starting of a quotation and this is the end of the quotation. And it, it, the, uh, there is an assignment variable, which means that uh, this value is assigned to the course variable. And course is a string type. Uh, Python uh, do not need to declare uh, that it is, uh, it's a, do not need to declare its data type, but it automatically assigns the value. And depending on the value, the, uh, the data type of that variable is um, um, uh, interpreted by the interpreter. So uh, here another variable which is uh, which is holding the value Python. It is also a string. Here I, in the first uh, variable, I declare the value uh, using single quotation, and in the second uh, variable for the second variable, I declare the value using um, I declare the value using uh, double quotation. Uh, both are the same if we uh, try uh, try to print the values uh, here i tr try to print the course value and the language value both are uh, pro providing same type of output uh, but uh, while you are trying to you will try to print the value uh, of any variable uh, any string variable there will be uh, there will be no quotation mark in the output but if you try to print without the print function then it will uh, provide you the output with a quotation mark, single quotation mark. If you tr um, try at home, uh, that means if if I write uh, in the cell uh, only course and uh, and uh, try to saw the output, try to see the output, then we will get uh, um, object oriented programming output with a quotation mark. But uh, as I um, as I run the program, uh, as I run the uh, as I try to see, see the value of course inside the print function, then it is showing without output. So uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, let's try to uh, uh, try to see the output in a different way. Uh, here, another object course underscore objectives, uh, in short object, OBJ. 
uh, equal to I assign a value uh, to I, I try to assign a value, but I uh, I cannot uh, assign a value uh, in this way, but I tried. Let's see what happened. Uh, here um, I assign the value to learn the features of object oriented programming and implement with the real world examples. You see, there is a green word with. With is a green word uh, because with is showing uh, showing uh, in color uh, green color because it is a keyword. So whatever uh, which uh, which uh, words are keywords, it is uh, it is show, uh, visible in green color. So you see uh, that in the first line, uh, this uh, starting with this quotation and the ending uh, at, uh, at at the ending point, uh, all the strings are in uh, red color. But after that, it becomes uh, normal it becomes uh, in black colors that means it is not uh, counted as string though there is a end uh, end of quotation mark it is not counted as the string rather than that it is providing an error message which is called uh, called uh, end of literal uh, eol while scanning string literals that means he is uh, the interpreter is expecting a literal uh, uh, end of literal uh, error uh, uh, that means that there should be a quotation mark to end this string value, but there is no quotation mark. Uh, um, <clears throat> there is a, a quotation mark in the last line, but it should be starting with it should start a, a start from a quotation mark. That means it is uh, the when we are trying to uh, make a new line, uh, we can't do that in this way. So if I try to write more uh, a string, if a length of a string is more the uh, cannot hold in a one line, uh, we have to separate the, that string in uh, in some way. We can use new line. We will see in the coming slide how to use a new line. Uh, here, if I uh, write a uh, want to write a description, uh, I I have to use. Uh, a triple quotation mark here not double quotation triple quotation will uh, consider this uh, both line together let's see what happened if i correct it here i use a triple quotation and uh, and and then uh, i run the program again it will show me it is showing me that to uh, the whole lines to learn the features of object oriented programming and there is a new line implement uh, with the uh, real world examples that means it is showing in a complete line, but with a new line. As uh, it, it is taking a, a break of line here, it is also showing uh, as a new line symbol. Uh, what if uh, we uh, do not want to uh, see the, like this? If I want to eliminate this new line uh, and uh, also consider a new line here, but do not want to uh, see this new line. <clears throat> Then uh, how, how can I do that? I can do that using slash n. Uh, slash n is very familiar to you because you have already seen this new line uh, in the uh, C language. So here I try to use single line. I try to use single line. Uh, uh, there is an end of line and there, there is a complete sentence, but it is not visible in the screenshot because the line is too long. If I use this uh, slider, uh, to move in the left side, you cannot see the left portion. So that's why I did not do that. There is a uh, uh, there there are more uh, more uh, string value um, in the right side. It is not visible. So I started a quotation and uh, at the end of the string I ended the quotation and in, uh, as I want the value in two lines, I use a new line here. Let's see the output. The output is showing that uh, uh, where I use a new line, it is taking a new line, and but did not print the new line. Did not print the new line, but it is taking a new line. So here to learn the features of object oriented programming, and there is a new line, but it is not visible here. It is uh, um, it is part. It it just uh, break the line and started a, a new sentence in the next line from the started the same sentence in from the next line and take a break. So this is how there is another way. Uh, how can uh, if I want to split the sentence? Sometimes it happens that uh, I write a uh, I write a statement, but it is taking too long. That's that I don't want. I always want to uh, saw the uh, I uh, always want to see the uh, values in my uh, complete screen. But these values are not uh, visible in my screen. So what can I do? I I want to take a break. Sometimes I want to take a break and also 
but uh, uh, it should not be happen that uh, taking a break will uh, change the value of my program so it should not be so how can i do that i do that like this here i write a this this uh, value uh, well i assign a value in the test variable and i write the aim of the course is to learn the features of object oriented programming and there is a black slash implement with the new line uh, uh, let's see the output i take a break here but it is it will not going to give me a error uh, it, it 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 is showing me that the aim of the course is to learn the features of object oriented programming and implement with the uh, real world error it is not taking the uh, it is not considering the value uh, considering this slash in the output but it, it uh, the program the interpreter is uh, interpret this backslash as a break of my lines it is taking a break of my lines but it is not uh, taking as a new line in the output but it only consider that i want to break the line and start from the new line but it is a complete sentence it is a complete sentence but uh, for some reason i want it to uh, go back to the next line so how, uh, how this is how we can break a line but it will not printed in the uh, new line uh, in the output section <clears throat> but if i did not use this slash it will give me a error so it should not be so i guess, uh, i guess you understand what i am talking about uh, how to take new lines there are many other ways uh, the, in in that way we can take new lines uh, sometimes we use uh, some uh, n variable uh, if i want to uh, uh, if inside the loop if i want to print something and i want that in every sentence uh, at the end of the every sentence i i want a comma so i can print that comma using a n variable in every line so uh, i did not uh, show uh, i did not uh, mention that example here but i just mentioned it, it, this new line can be done uh, in so many ways by logic let's come to the point uh, accessing values of string how we can access values of string if i do not want to print all the string but i just want to, to take some uh, some point, uh, some values of that string from a complete string i want some sub string so how can i take this i can take this by indexing i, I every every index has a interesting actually every value has a memory point uh, every string that if, uh, every complete string has some has index indexing we are familiar with the, this thing uh, so indexing always starts from 0 to uh, n minus 1 so here n equals to 6 there is six uh, a character p y t h o n there are six characters and uh, as uh, n equals to six, so it, it uh, the number of the number uh, the last index uh, should be five. N minus one. That means six minus one equal to five. So index uh, will be indexed uh, uh, will be z uh, from zero to five. If I want to uh, uh, saw the specific value of an index, I can write this language uh, in Python was holding the language uh, string. Uh, so language uh, and inside this uh, inside this indexing value i just uh, am put three so that means uh, three means uh, uh, age inside uh, inside the string in this list inside uh, uh, three, uh, three in three the uh, third position in fourth position actually but in num index number three it is holding age value so age has been printed if if i want to slice Slice. What? What do you mean by slice? What? What, what I am uh, uh, meant by slice. Slice is uh, if I took uh, not a value, not a value of a position, but a uh, a range. If I uh, if I consider uh, a range, that means uh, from one to three. One to three. I want this portion. I I just want uh, this portion. Y to H. Y to H. So if I want this portion then if i want this portion then i i have to use slicing i want to make a slice from the whole python portion python word i i just want this portion that means i have to use some slicing i have to use a 
slice here to here. This is my, uh, I, I want this slice. So I have to use slicing. How can I do that? I have to, uh, I have to consider from this value to this value. That means one, two, uh, three, not three. I have to consider four because I, I'm telling you why it should be, it should be four, not three. If I want to make a slice here, I have to take, I have to consider the uh, extra value from this position. Let's see an uh, example. Uh, if I make a slice from uh, language two, two position to four position, actually not four position, it will, it will consider n minus one position, n minus one. That means if it starts from two, that means it, uh, it will, it will start from this two position and uh, the last value is four. That, that means uh, four minus one, th that means three. So it will consider only three position. This is the last position, not this one. Uh, um, the, the, it, sh it, it should not be uh, from uh, up to four. So uh, TH will be the output. So always remember that when I use this uh, a, a range, uh, the last range will be N minus one. That means whatever I use the last destination, uh, it, uh, the output will be uh, a, a value before than that. So uh, if I want uh, the uh, pro, uh, till last value from a specific point, that means I uh, this sentence means uh, this statement means uh, it it will start from two position and uh, and uh, go to the last position. That means I did not use any last index. It means that I want the whole string up to the last. That means it will starts from two. It will start from two position and all completed the whole string. That means this uh, this portion from two to at last, because I did not mention the last position. So it is showing the from till last. The next, uh, if I want a uh, value from one to five, well, five is um, uh, um, uh, not my last position. Uh, last position is six, and uh, there is six values. And uh, five means it is uh, it is taking the uh, not the last value, but before than that, because five, uh, uh, five minus one, that is four. It will take only up to O, up to O, w one to O, that means Y T H O. Next, uh, uh, I just, um, uh, maybe I just uh, explain the, this, uh, this statement that uh, when I take a value and use a slash, what is the meaning of that slash? That, that slash means a break of line, but it will not print it in the output that uh, I took a break in the uh, statement. But I, uh, if I want to write this, uh, uh, if I want to write in the same screen and use the enter, it will create an error. Uh, 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 I should not take a enter here. Uh, rather than that, I can use this line, uh, line of uh, break, uh, breaking style, line breaking style. So uh, if uh, uh, my string is too long, here my string is too long and I, uh, I, I want the total string, uh, not only too long string, if I want uh, this Python, Python is very short string here. So if I uh, uh, you want this string Python completely, then I can use this kind of statement. That means language and inside language, if I use a colon only, it will mean that there is no starting point and no ending point. Uh, I mentioned the I, I want the whole whole uh, string. It is me. It means that uh, if I use a colon only, no destination, no endpoint, no start point. That means I want the whole string. So here uh, for destin uh, des value, uh, I I want the whole string. So I use uh, only colon and the whole value is printed. Next, uh, um, come to some. Uh, uh, methods, string methods. There are uh, many uh, fascinating uh, string methods that can uh, do a job uh, perfectly and with, uh, within, uh, no, with no hassle. Uh, so, uh, so I just mentioned here a few of them. Here, if I want to, uh, uh, want to see index of a specific value, I, 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 want to the, uh, I want to see the index of n, where the n located in Python. So uh, I, I just use uh, index fun method. 
so uh, it is showing that index in the uh, the uh, index of five is uh, sorry index of n is five that means at the end of the um, end of the string it is the end of the string in python then if uh, i can do that uh, in another way if i use a find method it is also find the index of uh, or the location of n it is also showing that uh, n is located in fifth position okay if i want to, to show uh, uh, um, uh, occurrence or a frequency of a um, of a uh, uh, of a alphabet or a substring i can use this uh, uh, use this count count means it will count uh, 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 alphabet or something what is uh, pass, passed inside this argument inside this argument n is passed so it will count uh, how many n are there in language how many n are there there so it is showing that there is one n there is another interesting thing is split it is very useful in many cases uh, if i want to split a long string how can i do that i use this uh, split function uh, uh, on des des string des uh, a long string and i want to split uh, in two parts or um, split only only works on two uh, two part uh, only break a uh, complete string into two parts so uh, i want to split uh, somewhere and i mention where i want this split i want this split in implement in, uh, is so where uh, it will find a implement word it will break uh, fr uh, from left to right it will break in two portion from left to right so uh, where is the implement located here implement is located in in, in, in this position uh, so it, it this is the left portion of implement and this is the right portion of implement and it is it is separated these two portion uh, and uh, make a list here it is separated in into two portion left from the left side uh, from uh, from the left side of the implement and the from the right side of the implement now come to some operations of string uh, here uh, we uh, we are watching a uh, example of concatenation of a string i took a two value uh, two string value person one shamsul and person two arifin so i i want to concatenate, concatenate this two string and uh, i just um, uh, it is very useful uh, it, uh, it is very uh, easy uh, in python uh, that uh, to concatenate, concatenate uh, to a string uh, this is the extra facilities of python i can concatenate using plus sign here i just uh, just like mathematically i just added this two string but it is not mathematical operation it is a uh, string operation i but you, i can use uh, plus sign here and these two string will be uh, added i used a uh, string uh, i used a space here intentionally uh, to make a space here if you do not use this space it will uh, it will stay side by side but there will be no space uh, then i use a person one dot upper up uh, the function of upper is to uh, make the all make all the uh, all the uh, character uh, upper case so here some, uh, only s was in capital letter uh, but all other string has been uh, shown in the shown in upper case letters uh, similarly i use lower lower function lower case will make all the all the alphabet uh, in lower case so uh, if um, i in c we saw uh, how to uh, how to see uh, how to print a string value how to print a uh, float value integer value so in this class we will see how to print a string value in a sentence or in any other position so here yeah, i use um, uh, f value so it is a it is a style to print a value in some other place uh, if uh, here i mention another string we are using but here i want a value no i did not mention what value i want because it is assigned in another variable so i i just know what is the variable not the value so i did not write the value inside the uh, inside the string but i want a value here because whatever the value is whatever the value is i don't know 
but I, I don't bother actually. I just want the value. So here I use the variable name, not the value. Uh, so here uh, uh, there is a variable in, uh, there is another variable. Okay. So I, I, I use a uh, bracket here. Now I want to print the whole value of S. So uh, language holds Python and course hold objectory programming. I, uh, I have assigned the value uh, earlier. So here, if I want to print the whole value of S, it will show me uh, you, uh, we are using Python. That means language holds Python uh, in objectory programming. Uh, course hold objectory programming. So this is the complete sentence. But I did not use the conventional uh, uh, um, conventional percentage sign uh, here, but we can do that also. Here, there is another example, three equals two, there is a string we are using. This is the string that I mentioned here and use a percentage sign, uh, percentage S. This, uh, we are familiar with this percentage S because we used uh, this in the C language. In C, uh, while we uh, uh, want to uh, put a value of uh, a variable, a string variable, then we use percentage s. Here we use percentage s. Uh, that means I want to, uh, I want the value of a string here. But what is the value? I mentioned it uh, later. So here the end of the string and uh, in C there is a comma, but uh, in Python there is no comma. And then uh, as the, I use a variable here, I want to mention a variable here, I use uh, percentage sign. This, this is similar to lang C language. And here the variable that I want here. I want the value of the, this variable here because this is the only percentage. So language holds Python. So the output of T is we are using Python. That's it. So uh, that's it uh, for today's class. If you have any questions, uh, you can ask me in uh, the live sessions. Uh, actually, we have covered a few operations of string operations. There are more operations and there are more logical uh, logical style. Uh, we can uh, implement uh, many, many operations uh, using string in uh, logically in uh, any uh, in so many ways. So I did not cover in this lecture all these things. So I hope uh, you understand what uh, um, still now I have uh, I have I have been discussed. Uh, so um, try at home very uh, various operations of string. Uh, so uh, thank you for watching, and hope that we will meet in the live session.